I got married in 2021 during the COVID lockdowns. Part of us wanted to wait until things opened back up before we got married, but at the time we weren't sure how long the restrictions were going to be in place, so we decided to just get married right away. We found a really small venue that looked like an elegant little house. It had a few different rooms with their own themes and a really nice area outside. Planning the wedding was fun. It was actually pretty easy for me since my opinion on stuff wasn't really too relevant. In a lot of the meetings, the questions were all directed towards my wife. Things like picking the flowers, plates, which rooms to use in the venue, Menu, etc. were pretty much all up to her. The staff didn't even acknowledge my existence when asking those sort of questions, so I was sort of able to just sit back and let my wife pick out exactly what she wanted. The part where I did have some input was the wedding cake. Since we wanted to go with a red Chinese theme, we ended up going with a red velvet cake, but I honestly also thought that the red velvet cake tasted the best. Only one thing almost went wrong at the wedding. A bit before the ceremony was about to start, we were missing two chairs, but they took care of that pretty quickly when I mentioned it. The only other annoying thing was something our florist did. A little bit before the ceremony, ceremony started, she told me that the entrance would look empty if I didn't pay extra for more flowers to be added there. It felt kind of weird that she waited to mention this until the day of the wedding. I just said, sure, whatever, just make it look nice. The wedding was mostly Western, but it also had some elements from my wife's Chinese background and my Filipino background. So my wife wore a red dress, and we also had a mini tea ceremony during the wedding. I wore a Filipino barong, but ordered it in red to match her dress. My dad, mom, and brother all wore traditional natural colored Filipino attire. Since we could only invite some immediate family to the wedding, we also live streamed it over Zoom. The upside to this was that we were able to invite a lot more people virtually than we would have been able to if this was an in-person event. My mom and brother set up a few smartphones on tripods and put them on the stage. Those served as two camera angles for all the people on the Zoom call. My brother monitored the stream the entire ceremony to make sure that everything went smoothly. For photos, we went with a company called 316 Photography from Orange County, California, and I thought they were really great. I actually almost cried when my wife was walking down the aisle, but I barely held it in. Afterwards, the photographer came up to me and asked me why I held it in. He saw it and was ready to get a photo, but was so disappointed I didn't let it out. The reception took place at the same location. We just walked into the dining room and all had filet mignon. So our wedding cake tasted amazing. Back when we were still deciding on a flavor, the sample cupcake they gave us tasted pretty good. The cake on the day of blew me away. To this day, our wedding cake is still the best red velvet cake I've ever tasted. My wife and I aren't really into going to big parties or anything like that, so we were actually really happy to have a small and intimate wedding, but that's pretty much how our whole wedding went. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking it, joining my Discord server, and following me on all my socials. I also stream on Twitch every Friday at 4pm Pacific Time. Links are all in the description below. See you next time.